the part where he was totally a black guy whose name basically was James Earl Jones. Who, right. And, we were all, yeah. and but it, while it, he was black, he was terrible and bad and awful and used to cut off white men's hands and didn't, you know, actually claim his son. But as soon as he claims his son and goes over to the good, he takes off his mask and he is white. Oh, yes, I have many, <laughs> many feelings about that. But I will try to put them over here. Why, why do good people... Good luck with that. Yeah, <laughs> why do people love Star Wars so much? MSNBC having a roundtable discussion about Star Wars. Oh, and race baiting Satanism. So Satanism. Oh, it's just Monday. It's just part of their typical routine. To be taken as seriously as the Star Wars holiday special. Come on, Mala. Let's see a little smile. There, that's better. The Bantha Rump. This isn't something that anybody should be all that astonished by, but still facepalm aplenty. But I wanted to go and just point out all of the gigantic holes in this theory that was brought forward about the series being racist and especially revolving around the character of Darth Vader. Because clearly, those who are working for Disney and those who are working over at Lucasfilms, all of them made this character just to be racist. We had Melissa Harris Perry on MSNBC talking about how Darth Vader, he's just chopping off white man's hands. <laughs> and he's doing all this evil, and he's on the dark side, get it, because he's black. That's racist! And then all of a sudden, he becomes a good guy and goes towards the light side, and then takes off his helmet, and he's a white guy. You were right about me. And then he's with his family again, and he just owned him when he was black, but then when he embraced him, he's white. It, See, seeing this shit unfold, just raw sewage coming out of someone's mouth, this is what they believe, this is really what they think. I mean, you're already well aware that Melissa here doesn't know shit about Star Wars at all, so she has all of her facts wrong, and is paid to be on this network to talk about this shit. And people are like, mm-hmm, uh-huh, yeah, mm, yeah, oh, uh, oh, uh, making some valid criticisms there and bringing up, you're doing your homework, that's, you're bringing up all those facts. We love that. Well, I wanted to go down Factual Avenue with you. There are four actors we should pay attention to when it comes to the character of Darth Vader. First up, we have David Prowse. Guess who David Prowse was? He was Darth Vader. That's the motherfucker you saw in the original trilogy that was walking around force choking bitches, and it was fantastic. Oh, oh, we are excited, aren't we? Then, we had Sebastian Shaw. You know when she was talking about, oh, he, he took off the helmet, it was a white guy. Yeah, that was Sebastian Shaw. So, that was a, another white dude. That's, that's crazy, right? So, Luke Skywalker being white, and Leia being white with white parents. And Darth Vader was white. Who the- it, fuck, that was a plot twist I didn't see coming. Then, we have Hayden Christensen, if you remember in the trilogy, where we had a lot of robotic acting, but it was pretty fucking cool when he ran around just ruining everybody's day, and he got fucking chopped into pieces during that really epic fucking Obi-Wan Kenobi fight. <laughs> but it's very metal. God, was that fucking amazing. Oh, and then Jake Lloyd, who was young Anakin Skywalker. Again, all of them were white. Fucking nuts! Melissa Harris Perry was saying, Darth Vader might as well have just been named James Earl Jones, because he's clearly black. James Earl Jones did the iconic voice acting for Darth Vader that people have known the whole world over and did a fantastic job because, well, if you heard how it sounded on set, yeah, that shit wasn't going to work. I'm sorry, a Scottish accent for Darth Vader, it, hearing the original footage, it, it was fucking comedic. As a matter of fact, roll footage. Start tearing this ship apart piece by piece until you find those tapes. Find the passengers of this vessel. I want them alive! I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a member of the Imperial Senate on a diplomatic... You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take her away. 
There's a reason that we had theatrically trained James Earl Jones step in to voice this character who's supposed to be an imposing force of nature that everybody fears and is scared shitless of the whole galaxy over, every single corner of any planet, any sector, any little area that something is living knows Darth Vader and doesn't want to fuck with him. become one of the most nefarious and infamous characters in all of movie and cinematic history. You know, we should go and ignore all of that because they're just white actors and playing a white character in a series that everybody's known about for fucking decades now. And what's more evil than the deeds that were done by Anakin Skywalker whenever he was giving in to the dark side and giving in to the Sith was none other than your stupidity running rampant on the internet, which is just, it's comical at best. I mean, I look at that and I just think to myself, how the fuck can you be taken seriously? I mean, you're like the Jar Jar Binks of MSNBC. It makes no damn sense how the fuck you can go out there and say this kind of dribble and people are just like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Like, why did nobody there say you're full of shit and you're kind of crazy? I see people all the time trying to say that things are racist and sexist all the time all the fucking time. Ignoring bro, I'm so tired of people trying to go and pull shit out of their ass and attack popular things that are always works of fiction, ignoring real world problems and struggles and things that people are trying to go and cope with in real life. Star Wars is racist. Darth Vader's totally a black guy. And, and, and Disney and, and Lucas feels all racist, racist, racist. You are fucking insane at best. Deluded and uninformed. I don't under fucking stand how you have a job there and you get to say this kind of crap. It just, I shouldn't take you seriously at all and I don't, but I still find it strange that any big network like that would propose that you go out there and just go off, say all the shit that you do. I'd be looked at as a goddamn lunatic because I frequently go and drop vulgar words all the time so they could go and handle that, but somebody like you, are, it, that's just fine. I hope that you were laughed off the entire fucking face of the internet after some shit like this because this is just mind-numbing stupidity at its finest about something that you know nothing about but want to be taken seriously all the while. And you're going to twist and turn anything that's said to you, no matter the facts that are brought forward, you are going to twist and twist and twist because that's how you got to the conclusion that you did originally was refuting all the evidence regardless of what's put in front of you so that you can go out there and just make your claims. Hollow words from a hollow-headed individual. Fucking laughable at best. Fuck all this. Star Wars The Force Awakens is going to be coming out soon and we are going to see, probably, without a doubt, one of the best Star Wars movies to come out in a long, long time, because, well, it's got a big legacy to live up to. And we can have all these fucking imbeciles bite at the boot heels of a franchise that fucking big and hate the fact that nobody's going to take them all that fucking serious and just end up laughing at them, just point and laugh all day because they're fucking ridiculous. Either way, this is Alpha Omega Sin, as always, Nerds, Nerdettes, and Gamers Game, the fuck on in a galaxy far, far away.